what is up guys so uh, I was gonna do some filming this weekend and when last night I was shooting some photos and then like a tragedy happened uh, where I ended up in a cypress swamp with a bunch of gators with my camera and uh, lost it it's gone gone forever Aaron Hernandez but um, we're, <laughs> we I ended up going uh, Python hunting with Kevin last night and and Shane, this guy I met last night, he's a cool guy. Um, and we ended up removing three pythons from the Everglades. I didn't film that much because, you know, the camera thing. So tonight we'll, we'll see if we can get something. Uh, I'm hoping for a big one. I think we all are hoping for a large, large python. We got three last night, two seven footers and one eight footer. So let's hope for like a 15 footer tonight. Yeah, hopeful. <laughs> But um, maybe we'll see some other stuff. We'll try and make a video of this. But um, stay tuned and see what we find. All right, first python of the night. This is Ashley's first catch. Oh, there you go. Welcome to the team. <laughs> That's it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> That's how we do it, baby. How are you feeling? <laughs> Pretty good. First of the night. That's how we do it, son. Easy. Oh my yeah, god, look at the size of that one. It was caught by Kevin. He just jumped off the top into the water and got it before it got away. Thing is huge. I was just holding it. It was tiring me out. Big girl. Whew. So thick. <laughs> and you ain't good, honey. You got a good Thanksgiving? That is so huge. <laughs> this is the biggest snake I've ever seen in the wild. Holy sh! All right, number three. That was much so of a fight. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, about nine. Wow, yeah! Number three. Nice. Oh. That would help. I just felt this. What are those called? Spurs, right? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Got me a little bit. I heard it. It was like Velcro. Yeah. Just a little bit of blood. Oh, yeah, they say like nine foot? Yeah, about nine. God, I remember like two months ago, this would be like absolutely monster in the air. <laughs> an hour ago, that would be pretty, uh, yeah, an hour pretty big. <laughs> Alright, check out the spurs on that snake right there, the little spikes right there, I felt it going into my neck. It's poking me. Beautiful one. I mean, honestly, I say that about every single snake. It's like, oh, they're all beautiful. <laughs> they're all gorgeous. Activity. Yep. Boop. Totally forgot to turn my light off before that. Whatever. <laughs> tag him and tag him, boys. Tag him and tag him. Tag him. And tag him. Tag him. All right, not a python, but look at that. Little baby cottonmouth in striking position, waiting for some prey to come along. That's so cool, I love the patterning on the babies. 
So basically the snake is just sitting here waiting for a rodent or a frog or some prey to crawl by and then it'll strike it, tag it, let it die of the venom and then track it down and eat it. Really, really cool way of predator prey. Look at that little tail right there pretending to rattle, mimicking a rattle saying, hey, back up, I'm venomous. Very cool. All right, we'll go catch some more pythons. Oh my God. Look at the snake we just pulled out. That is so huge. I'm out of breath from that tire guy. <laughs> what a monster. There are not many contractors, not many people that have caught one this big. That's <laughs> all right. I made the judgment call that you need a little bit of experience. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me grab this one. <laughs> well, she didn't react right away, so I was like, I think I can let him grab it. <laughs> like, if she moved at all, I was gonna have to dive in there, but I was like, I got it. Oh. Yeah, this is way bigger than that 15 footer I just caught. <laughs> and that one was 118 pounds. She's not as thick, like the other one was thicker, but this was way really? longer. That is a, I mean, this one's damn thick and too. And the head but, is way bigger too. Yeah. You wanna tell us about uh, what just happened, Kyle? So, uh, up top spotting here, and uh, instantly saw, like it knew instantly what it was, the pattern, saw about from here to there, the snake. So you can see from about the nose to here, the rest of this was underwater. And then 10 feet back, I saw it from here to there, and just like, yeah, that's the biggest snake I have ever seen in my life. In the wild, shout out to Kevin for letting me get the head grab on it. Tried doing it one handed there, and it wrapped my arm and me a little bit, pulled me into the water, and then got better grip on it. Kevin helped me out, we got it. But this we put up a fight, I was out of breath from this. That is just such an impressive animal. It's much bigger than my fist, the head. It's crazy. Just the tail wrapped around my arm right there, I can feel it already just making this feel tingly from how tight it can grab. This is the deer eater for sure. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at the size of this snake. Uh oh. <laughs> Bite from that would be awful. Yep. Yes! I uh, I think this experience is gonna be really hard to beat. <laughs> wow. This light blue iridescence on there, that's Ready? so cool. So this is where the python was. This is where the head was. Couldn't see any of the body up until over there. I saw the back end of the tail. I knew that that was a massive, Massive snake. Oh, that felt unreal. Gotta be right there. Yeah, I can see the nose right here. Go for it. That's right there, Daniela. There you go. Number five. Yeah, it's close to the button. Yeah, it's over nine. <laughs> that thing was high up on the levee, dude. Yeah, it was. And that was so, like, literally all I saw was a shadow. And I was like, there's no, nothing makes a shadow like that <laughs> in this environment. Like, yeah. Good catch. Yeah, that was one of those spots where I was like, huh. Nice. That was probably a python. <laughs> nice. Wow, what a knife.
fights. Fight bones already. I know. That's a male. Yeah. That's like a <laughs> Welcome to the team, Ashley. <laughs> Killing it! Hell yeah! <laughs> you never caught more than one. Actually, I caught, I caught two 13 footers once, but that was breeding aggregation, not just regular hunting. So you would say this is probably like one of the best nights you've ever had? Easily one of the best nights I've ever had. I think it, be, I think it became the best night I've ever had. Yeah, I mean, the, that monster, yeah. So this was our last python of the night. It was about a uh, eight foot, nine foot male out on the crawl. Um, but that was an insane night. That I have, like, I'm still in disbelief. Like, I've been dreaming of that moment for years of catching a snake in the wild that large huge shout out to kevin pavlidis for making my dreams possible and thank you all so much for watching these videos it it really means a lot